And paired with that, uh, what we are predicting as the color of the year for 2017, this beautiful misty gray blue. Rang divaroka, rang gharoka. It's the color of connections and the color of life around us. Rang dosti ka, rang rishto ka. Hamare kapro ka rang, aakash ko par karte sapno ka rang. Alfaso ka rang, hamare saaso ka rang. It's the color around us. It's the color that makes you see life in a new light. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to witness the color of the year. When the Axel Nobel Dulas presents to you, color of the year, everybody. Let's have a big hand for Shweta Kapoor and for Anakta, everybody. Here comes color of the year. Let's give it up, everyone. also say like while this blue in new light is part of my day-to-day -day life I think it can definitely be incorporated in several different ways so uh, Rajiv what do you think uh, what, do, what should people expect to see life in a new light like in 2017 yes Farhan I think um, you know as Jeremy just alluded a while ago in the presentation uh, even our experts think that this is the overriding trend for 2017 mm -hmm. and hence the denim drift is the color of the year for 2017. Uh, one of the things about denim uh, drift is the, the, the color palette it offers. So it offers colors which has got a range starting from something like as uh, dark as indigo blue right. to something which is as light as a denim blue that we wear. So right. that's the beauty of the color. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it is like we said, it is the color of the year. Mm -hmm. So we look forward to really making this very large and bringing it into the lives of peoples and homes mm -hmm. very soon. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> Jeremy, I really, really like the theme of life in a new light. Um, and I personally believe that colors usually for me speak louder than words. Um, and this one specifically, I think it's really promising and very, very exciting. So I wanted to know, how do you see the Dulux color of the year, denim drift? How do you see it influencing us to see things in a new light? Thanks, Shwala. I think I think what's nice is everyone can take this one very personally, very quickly, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because we all have different things that are special for yeah. us in our life. And so we see people, the, the minute the, the theme gets uh, explained, saying, yeah, okay, I think what I can do in my life to reach back to the things which are important to me. And the color just represents that really nicely yeah, in, in the way that it creates it. So we would expect and we hope that people will start to use it, I think not only in their rooms and their interiors, uh, also in their clothes and yeah. other things as well. Actually, I have a bit of a denim fixation and um, I'm, uh, I'm going to say something really cheesy right now, but like how our hashtag is life in a new light. And if I incorporate a bit more into my wardrobe, I think next year I'll, ha I'll have a hashtag Shraddha in a new light. And I understand you are a little bit influential in these things with all your followers. So I think they might copy I, I, you too, I, right? I'll, I'll try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, it is. And, Fahad, yeah, right. as a very creative individual mm. yourself, how do you feel about the color and, and what? Uh, well, I, I do like it very much. It is uh, something, a color that I'm very comfortable wearing. It, it is a color that really does uh, occupy the majority of my wardrobe. Um, it is something that I think it has an energy that's really reflected in our world in so many different ways. Um, it, it's a color that's a part of our life. It's a color that comforts us. Um, in, if you wear it, and I think probably even more when now when we have it on, uh, on our walls, uh, and as a part of our life to kind of just keep our mood uh, as calm as we, we like this color to be. Yeah. Um, also, apart from that, I think it's a, it's a very fun color. 
So, uh, was that also the intention? For yes, Farhan, I think yeah. that's true. I think the color is supposed to meant to be very versatile. It drives, you know, both personification of beauty and capturing the mood of the moment, as Jeremy alluded in the presentation. Right. It's quite timeless, and we believe that it's a color of life. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's also the color of the Indian cricket team. That's right. Yeah, so which is life for some people. <laughs> which is life for a lot of people, <laughs> right? right? So uh, with that, really, I think uh, mm -hmm. we, we really think that, hence, Denim Drift is very relevant in the country, mm -hmm. and we believe in 2017, Denim Drift will make a lot of resonance in the markets with our brands, mm -hmm. and really capture the mind and imagination and hope, hopefully also the homes of all the people right. with Dulux <laughs> as we go forward. Huh? Wonderful. Yeah, I would also take this moment to uh, launch the Color Futures uh, book. Mm -hmm. Super. What I'm going to request all of you all, if you can please step on the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time where we're going to launch the Color Future book right here, live and loud. Please welcome the Color Future book, everybody. Here comes... The Accident Bell Dulux Color Future Book 2017. Yeah. Let's give a big hand for the color book, everyone. Woo. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, here it is the Accident Bell Dulux Color Future Book 2017. People sitting at the back, can we have a big hand for this fantastic moment, everybody? Thank you. Thank you. So we, oh, open it up. Okay. Lovely. Okay. We open the book. Sorry, I'm lost in my own mind. <laughs> Here we go. There you go, everybody on the other side. I think everyone just wants to capture the moment. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, what we're going to do right now is the floor is open for questions. The members of the media, if you have a question, please put your hand up so that the mic is going to reach you. Well, just before you open the question, I think I'm going to open the floor. I'm going to ask Farhan and Shraddha together. Denim drift. What does the denim drift mean to you as of now? Uh, well, I think we touched upon it already uh, briefly. Um, I think denim really is... It's, it's a very important part, I think, of everyday, of our everyday life. Um, it is something that most of us feel comfortable wearing. Uh, I see many people here already wearing, wearing denim, and it's, it's, uh, it is, it's very comforting, it's very calming. Um, so I do imagine it being, if, if it's a part of your life, if it's a part of your house, if it's a part of the ambience that you live in, it, it will keep you relaxed, it will keep you comfortable, and it's very trendy. It's always uh, reinventing itself. So uh, I think it's a combination of many different things. It's a combination of everything. And how about you? I would like to ask you the same question as well. I think uh, a lot of people love the color denim, evidently because uh, they wear it so much. And it's, it's such a common piece of clothing as well. And I think it's a very, in general, the color denim, I think it's very inviting. It's very, um, uh, it's a pleasant color. And I like the name as well, denim drift. So with drift, when you, when you hear of drift or drifting, there's a certain amount of, I think, a carefree kind of a feeling to it, which I like very much. All righty, super. Here goes, the floor's open. If you have a question, please make sure. Can a mic reach here? Can we have someone here? Yes, the mics are going to come to you. Man. Hello. Yeah. Good evening to all. This is Raj from SpicyStarsMumbai.com. I'd like to ask Shraddha Kapoor, what is your favorite color and why? Which well, one is your favorite color? Definitely today it's the color I'm wearing. It's denim drift. So I totally love it. Okay, thank you. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, question for Mr. Rajiv. Uh, blue is normally, as per the Indian Vastu, not a compatible color when it comes to having it on the bedroom walls. Have you, as part of your research, already considered this trend, which is very much prevalent in Vastu? Yeah, I mean, uh, so, you know, the first thing that we do whenever we take a color, color palette is to first see the relevance of the color in the country. And uh, as much as I was surprised, uh, when we did uh, last year, the, you know, when we did the gold, uh, and we really thought that gold is meant for certain places that we go to, uh, you know, religious uh, places, etc. I was completely, we were taken aback by the research. The same thing has happened with blue. 
Uh, actually, it's the shades of blue that get used in different parts and it lends itself to the ambience of the room. And to that extent, you would be surprised. Uh, a lot of designs that are coming in, and if you saw the two commercials that we produced, you'd have seen the use of blue. Most in of it. them were actually in the living room areas. So that's what was, I was actually waiting for something to be seen in the bedroom as a blue. That's why I asked you the question. So for that, I'll give you the copy of the color book. You would see the one which we've designed for the bedroom, where we've created the ambience to, you know, make sure that you feel it, it sort of lightens you and livens you up. No, right? but, uh, You'd see it in the color book. You would. It would be difficult for me to like show you the color book. Seeing it in the color book is fine, but what I'm trying to get at is, uh, as part of your research, and pass, as part of the Indian mentality which is there, blue is never a favorite no, color. In blue a is an auspicious color. In the bedroom, no. Uh, I'm talking so, just about the bedroom. So I'll tell you the way we do yeah. it. Yeah. So the, when we do it, and you talked about Vastu and etc. You're right. We look at it. We look at the relevance of the color hmm. to people feeling it's auspicious or <laughs> etc. And you'd be surprised that blue is a very important color. Now, I don't know how much the color blue has with other connotations, right? But today, when you say color blue, the first thing that comes to even housewives, you'd be surprised, is the fact that it's the very auspicious color because it's the color of our Indian cricket team. Super. And, uh, you know, I think most people feel that they don't want to say it's not auspicious because then you'd be sending millions of Indians into a frenzy. So they say, no, no, it's very uh, auspicious. We are happy to do it. Thank Our you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your question. Can we have any other? There you go. Okay, I'm going to come to you. Hi. Uh, Shraddha Ji, may... Oh, this side, this side. This side. Are you? Yes, yes. 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 कभी आपको याद आता है जो आपके मूड बदल बदले आप दोनों के और उसके साथ दूसरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि नए साल में आपका रिजोल्यूशन क्या है दोनों ही बताइए सॉरी आप दोबारा पूछेंगे मैं पानी पी हाँ पहला तो है कि रंग आपके जीवन में क्या बदलाव लाया कभी ऐसा हुआ जो रंग आपके मूड को बदल दिया ऐसा वो उसको शेयर करिए और दूसरा है कि नए साल में आपका रिजोल्यूशन क्या होगा डेफिनेटली आई थिंक कि कलर्स जो है जैसे मैंने कहा कि कलर्स के थ्रू आप बहुत कुछ एक्सप्रेस कर सकते हैं अपने इमोशंस एक्सप्रेस कर सकते हैं एंड डेफिनेटली हर कलर के साथ कुछ ना कुछ तो जुड़ा हुआ होता है कभी कभी पॉजिटिव होता है कभी नेगेटिव होता है और कुछ मेमोरीज भी जुड़े रहती हैं उनके साथ तो आई डेफिनेटली फील कि कोई इमोशनल कनेक्शन भी हो सकता है कलर्स के साथ और न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन तो बिल्कुल नहीं है कोई क्योंकि मैं जब भी कोशिश करती हूँ रखने की मैं तोड़ देती हूँ तो थैंक यू आपको सेम ही प्रश्न हाँ बिल्कुल आ, मेरा ये मानना है कि रंग जो है वो एक तरह तरीके से संगीत की तरह है जो आपको मतलब कुछ चीज़ों की याद भी दिला सकते हैं और आपके मूड पर तो बहुत उनका प्रभाव होता है ख़ासतौर से अगर आप चाहें कहीं भी आ, आप किसी भी घर में चले जाएँ तो वहाँ जिस तरह का के रंग लगे हैं दीवार पे या जिस तरह के फर्नीचर है इट डेफिनेटली हैज़ एन इफेक्ट ऑन योर स्टेट ऑफ माइंड और ये मतलब एक साइंस है खुद ब खुद जो लोगों ने किया है संगीत को लेकर अरोमास को लेकर कलर्स को लेकर कि किस तरह से इंसानों पर उसका एक इन्फ्लुंस होता है और जहाँ तक न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन का सवाल है मैं बिल्कुल श्रद्धा के साथ उसी के बोट में हूँ कि न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन मेरे ख्याल से अगर आपको कोई भी रेजोल्यूशन लेनी है तो डोंट वेट फॉर न्यू ईयर Every day is as important uh, a day as the next, so please take a resolution. But I am not sure about the resolution. Ki mein, mein Thank you. Yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, sir, my question is to you, Mr. Rajiv. Uh, there is a lot of things which are happening. In a, uh, you know, we go for environment friendly things. You are claiming that water and weather resistant. And where do you take the future of color and painting industry when it comes to uh, handling with the weather changes, the environment changes, and also with that, uh, without harming the environment. So, one I request Jeremy to give you the global perspective, and then I'll give you the India perspective because that's how our strategy works, right? So, Jeremy, would you? <coughs> we have to, yes. <coughs> Sustainability is about how we can do more with less. Yeah, ideally, a lot more with a lot less. So, a paint that lasts longer looks better for longer on the exterior is doing more with less. Yeah, it's a very simple way to think about it. If we can get people to, to use things for longer, then there's less energy, less resources used in that. At the same time, we've got to make sure that we create the product with the lowest possible resources in it as well. And that's some of the things that Rajiv was referring to uh, uh, earlier on. 
I think color has a role because of the way it affects human emotions and the way it makes us feel. So I might not go as far to say that we can make people happier, but we can certainly know that color changes mood and color is a really important part of, uh, of the paint category. No, so I, you know, so from a sustainability, pure impact of color, it's difficult to describe because really of what color does to you, because it's a mood lifter. Now let's look at what, what's happening around us on color. There are a few things, as all of you know, some railway stations have opened and we've also started bidding for tenders to try and make cities beautiful. I think, uh, to me, uh, concepts, and I'm not getting into, uh, you know, uh, any political parlance, but concepts like keeping the country clean, city clean, being a part, inspiring people to live with color. India is a very beautiful country. India has got a variety of color. And I think the role that we see ourselves as Dulux is how can we bring that into the lives of people. And I always say this, you know, if you Google and look at the world's 10 most beautiful cities of the world, right, there is a correlation between the most beautiful cities of the world and Dulux. Dulux is a market leader in every city that's beautiful. Ask yourself, what will it take for India to be beautiful? I think it's just embracing Dulux with your hearts and minds. Lovely. Do we have another question? Anyone else on the other side? Okay, right here. Uh, hi, I'm from Surfaces Reporter. This is for Rajiv. Uh, Rajiv, how, d how exactly demonetization is impacting the paint industry? And continuing to that, what is your strategic plan for the near to medium term, looking at the low demand or sl uh, slump in the demand? So two things. Um, uh, you know, I think, uh, firstly, it's very good for the economy in the medium, long term. I think short term, see, when companies like us invest and do business in uh, India and all over the world, we don't look at just a weekly, monthly, we are here for the long term, right? So I think from a long term, it's a great thing. And I think we are committed, uh, like any good corporate, uh, in trying to do it. Uh, now, your second question is, how will you sort of address? I think the various things that we are trying to do, uh, we have to look at all the straddles uh, of the various touch points of people who buy paints. There is consumer. And really, from a consumer point, there could be a bit, if at all, a bit of a delay. I don't see too much, but yes, a bit. The second is the applicator, which is the painter or the contractor. And I think there we are trying to see how we can bring uh, the digital life into them. So we've also started talking to various companies which are in the digital field to try and see how we can help them to try and do it. And then thirdly, it's our teams where we've also tried to help the teams to try and you know, adopt a digital life, right? So these are the various things that we are doing to try and override it. Uh, you know, I always believe in life that we should not worry about short-term bums. You know, in life, I don't think there is any individual who's had a success. Similarly, only a success, right? I mean, it's, it's a bit of a bumpy ride, and I don't think one blip is going to really matter. I think we are staying committed. I think from the long-term perspective, all the stuff that I talked about, innovations that we are bringing into the market, right? Some of the best that we have borrowed from the region, from the globe, I think clearly shows you the sort of footprint that we are going to sort of look for in the country. All right, I think we're going to take one last question on the other side. Is there anyone? There you go. Thank you. Uh, so Farhan and uh, Shraddha, since you come from the Bollywood industry, uh, you guys are the public figure. Uh, but I think uh, you don't have uh, uh, the technical knowledge to speak about the colors, but still, uh, what's your idea of, uh, about the color of future Dulux and uh, it's, a, it's a hashtag uh, uh, message that uh, life in a new color? Life in a new light. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, really, I mean, now uh, my association with Dulux has been, uh, has been quite long. I think it's been more than like three years now. Um, and I do admire their vision. I do admire their drive to try and, like Rajiv just mentioned, create a more beautiful environment for people to be able to exist in. I think that, that does take vision. It does take commitment. Um, and being from film, uh, we realize the value of aesthetic. We realize the value of a sensibility, a visual sensibility of how colors play a role in creating mood, in creating uh, uh, environment, in creating um, uh, ambience within which characters can function. Um, you can see that in design in films that certain colors immediately kind of uh, denote to you what kind of mood this scene is going to have or what kind of character we're going to end up finding in this place that we're going into. It always does that. So it is an important part of what we do in filmmaking and in storytelling and in creating a visual medium for people to enjoy. 
um, and to have somebody uh, like Dulux who's so committed to constantly reinventing what is today's color, what will be future trends, uh, it's a great tool for us to have uh, as filmmakers and storytellers. All right, thank you for your questions. I think we are done with the questions. I would request uh, members of the media if you want to click pictures. I think requesting all to please step forward and we're going to have a picture session happening right here. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank all our members of the media on behalf of Axe Nobel Dulux family for taking yeah. our time and making this amazing location right here, the vet, which we call it as. Please do join us for high images.